All right. Hi, guys. I have been away-ish, so I combined two weeks into one video. I had... It's been crazy, y'all. I had one kid with strep throat and the other kid with a stomach virus, so... And, and both of them were puking. It was totally insane. So there was that, and then I've been having issues with kind of a stalker-like situation. It's not like full-blown stalker, but I sold something to a man back last May. So like nine months ago, eight months ago. Um, a couple weeks after he purchased it, I had been very, um, he had been in communication with me and I'd been very willing to help him out and until he figured out what was going on with his money situation. And after 12 days, he canceled the transaction. Fine. Stupid me, I should have blocked him at that point. But he seemed like a nice guy, so I didn't really care. No big deal. He pops back up and says that he wants to buy this item again, because I still had it listed just last month. And um, he wanted it for a lower price and all this other stuff. And I said, look, you know what? You can buy it for the price that it's listed at. But I'm not making you a deal, and I'm not going out of my way. And then he got very persistent in sending me messages, and um, so I blocked him, and I removed the listing. And he kept messaging me over and over and over again about this item. I'm like, no. I, I responded to him once, and then I left it. I called eBay. They said, just ignore him. That was their response. And so I get another very not good email from him today. I called email or I called uh, eBay again, and fortunately I got someone with a little bit more knowledge, and she helped me out a little bit. But it was hard for them because this transaction happened last May. So to try and track down who he was and what the item was, and the item's not even listed now, it got very complicated. So, between the sick kids and the crazy stalker guy, like, the last two weeks have sucked. So, anyway, here we go. We're, here, we're just going to, like, motor through all this stuff because there's so many items that sold. So, here we have it. Uh, HP padded laptop backpack, which sold for 35 bucks. A uh, Thompson Chain Reference Bible sold for 30 bucks within like five minutes of me listing it. I've had it sitting in a pile since forever, so that was kind of awesome that it sold so quickly. A floral silk scarf for five. This is a Jasper and Jira, uh, like hobo bag kind of, by, um, it's an anthropology brand. Sold that for 50 bucks. This, I think, I don't really know what this does. I think it's for a flight simulator. But um, I wasn't able to test it. It seemed like it was in working order. So I listed it and haven't heard anything back from the buyer. So that caught, or that uh, brought in 40. This cute little tiny Mickey Mouse mug sold for $10. Let's see if I can get, there it is. See, it's teeny tiny. It's so cute, right? This is a lot of John Sanford audiobooks. There were four of them. They were in good condition, but the covers were a little banged up, but those sold for 20 bucks altogether. This is a beautiful Italian-made leather purse by Ciccone Piero, and that sold for 13. This, the lady who bought this was such a hoot. It's like this old, um, probably from the 80s sweater, this graphic sweater sweater with cats all over it. She was so cute. She's like, this is going to go so great with my velour pants. And then she messaged me again once she got the sweater. She said, it's absolutely perfect. So yay, that was so cute. 25 bucks for a cat sweater. I sold this iPod case for 17 An old vintage cookie jar for 10 this is an embosser stamp, uh, Notary Public of Indiana. Sold that for 25 This is another silk scarf, scarf by Lanvin. 
And trying to get my tabs to scroll over. So yeah, I got 70 bucks for the Lanven scarf. Wow, I don't even I didn't even realize that. Oh my gosh, I had no idea I listed it that high. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my gosh, I got 70 bucks for that scarf. That tickled me. I had no idea I had <laughs> That's awesome. Yay me. Anyway. Uh these are some Four season uh, Limoges, uh, not Limoges, um, enamel is what I'm trying to come up with. Panels. And I wish I could remember the story behind these. Like this JP Loop character, I think he's like notorious as a art thief or an art uh, forger or something. There's some scandal with this guy. But, um, gosh, I sold these best offer. I don't remember how much I sold them for. Maybe like 25 bucks or something. But these Bates boots sold for 45 And the, uh, the buyer said that the sole is cracking. And I checked these soles really well. And I really don't believe that they're cracking. You know, anything could happen. But I checked them really well. So I asked them to send them back. And so we'll see if they send them back. This is a shabby chic quilt that sold for 50. Um, it was a little bit worn around the edges. But even so, it was in good shape. It wasn't stained or anything. So This is a pair of character shoes that sold for 15, but they don't fit the purchaser, so she's sending them back as well. These are a pair of Minnetonka moccasins. Nothing really interesting to say there, but they sold for 25 Sold this Adidas messenger bag for 10 bucks. Belt buckle for 99 cents. That was a big windfall there. UNC Tar Heel sweatshirt sold for 99 cents. These are all my clearance auctions. These washable suede pants by Massini sold for $5.50. A Nike swimsuit for $4.25. This kind of goofy 60s or 70s ballerina portrait sold for $0.99. Cents. Lame. A blouse. I'm not sure how you pronounce this. I think it's Nara Kamasi. Um, sold for seven dollars and one cent. This leaded crystal tulip vase bowls type thing sold for twenty five. That's so uncharacteristic of me too to pick up something like that, but it seemed nice. So whatever. This hunting vest sold for twenty bucks. This old skateboard is kind of funny. This the guy who bought this skateboard bought it back at Christmas time and then thought that he pur purchased the wrong kind, so then he canceled the transaction, but then he came back and bought it again. So and and he left happy feedback. So it must be what he wanted after all. Sold a bunch of jamberries this week. Um if you are not familiar with jamberry, they are a um direct marketing kind of nail wrap company. I used to be a consultant for them and I love the product. I absolutely love Jamberry nail wraps. But um, seeing as my eBay business makes me a lot of money with minimal effort, I just couldn't see um, working and selling these Jamberries um, for a considerable amount of effort for very little reward. But I still love the product regardless of um, the whole effort that had to go into making that business successful. So I sold this full sheet for seven. Here is a Dietz oil lantern, or I don't you call it an oil lantern if it's like lamp oil. Yeah, I guess you do. So that sold for 30. That was brand new. Another full sheet of jams for seven. Another full sheet of jams for seven. This Lands End Harry Bone Blazer sold for 10 oh, There was a period, must have been two falls ago, 
that I could sell these things all day long. They must not be very popular anymore because I've had this one hanging around forever. Finally got rid of that for 10 A pair of Sony headphones sold for 16 bucks. This cute little L.L. Bean tote bag sold for 20 This is a, it's sort of like an architectural print of the Brooklyn Bridge. And that sold for 99 bucks. That's actually getting shipped out tomorrow. I have to go buy a gigantic box for that one. This is a Neiman Marcus mug. And I had kind of just had a feeling, you know, Neiman Marcus is a super duper high end um, department store. So I put this mug at 20 bucks and got it. Oh my gosh, it's another Jamberry nail wrap! But this is just a half sheet this time, but still I priced it the same as the full for seven bucks. Um, this next batch of items I'm going to show you were all purchased by the same gal, so she really made my day because she purchased, what, one, two, three, four, five things from me, I think? So the first was this black crushed velvet blazer, and it's very Hugh Hefner looking. It's freaking fantastic. Sold that for 50 She also bought this Ellen Tracy black stretch blazer for 25 she bought this Petty Pois uh, kind of gauzy dress for 60 brand new with tags. She bought these boots from me for 13 and I think that these boots I've had, I think this is the oldest item in my collection. And I'm super happy to get rid of these. I think I've had these in my shop since 2013. This is a vintage leather jacket, probably from the 80s, and I took, she, the same woman made an offer on this item, I think for 25 or 29, I think 29 maybe, and a heck yeah I accepted, heck yeah. Oh my gosh, it's another half sheet of Jamberry nail wraps for $7, and these things sell like so fast, like literally I would post them and then they would sell in like five minutes. I wish I had more of them. And this is the last item I have to show you this week. It's this vintage Kotler corduroy blazer. 30 bucks for that and I don't know what my total sales are for all of this stuff but I'm happy. It was a good couple of weeks and um, thanks for watching you guys. I know this was really long. You are the most patient audience in the land. Thank you so much. Talk to you next time.